everyone welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos if you are new here thank you for stopping by please do not forget to subscribe and also check out my other videos you'll find a thing or two that will interest you anyway guys uh if it's been a while yeah it has been a while that i posted on here if you watched my last video you would probably get a sense of why that's the case but after i made my last video talking about how i needed time out and i was wondering if i should take you know my vacation period to make videos or i should just take it to rest and everybody in the comment section said i should rest and i feel like that's a solid advice because i had a great time resting this week you guys <laughs> like i did rest and i feel like revitalized re-energized i just feel really good about myself i also i'm also grateful because taking time out made me realize that i have been too focused on the things that weren't working and i literally left lost my sense of gratitude but you're like so many things to be grateful for right so yeah i feel like this holiday brought something good with it and i'm really really excited to have experienced it and you guys take that break really really take that break if you need to anyway let's go straight to what today's video is about today i'll be talking about what to expect you know when coming to lithuania so since i started making videos about lithuania i get like lots of dms i get people messaging me asking oh yeah so i've been thinking of coming to lithuania or i got admission into a school in lithuania or like different variations of that and then they want to know what to expect usually i'll just ask them to know ask me specific questions that i can answer and then i try to gather some of these questions that they answered i decided to make it into a video so that people can get a sense of what to expect when coming to lithuania and they may not have to message me you get what i mean so yeah let's just get right into the video so one of the most common questions i get is you know question about cost of living in lithuania and people want to know what is the cost of living in lithuania like now what i can tell you is that cost of living in lithuania is low compared to most other european countries right salaries are not high here but even with your not high salaries you can afford a good life because things are relatively cheap um i'll say that you can easily survive on 500 euros per month here which is even the minimum wage so the minimum wage here is 500 euros and i think that you can live an okay life so yeah um cost of living is really low um apartments as a student you can get dormitories starting from as low as 90 euros per month to like maybe 200 300 if you want to get like an actual apartment maybe a room in a shared apartment or a a studio apartment you're looking at from like say 150 to like uh, maybe 300 400 but i'm going to make a separate video entirely for you know like cost like breakdown cost of everything that um most of the important things that you need to know but that will be in a separate video but what i'm trying to say is that um compared to places like germany of course netherlands of course like um cost of living in lithuania is really low and you can do well for yourself with little money because once you pay your rent food is cheap transportation is cheap so you should actually do okay for yourself with like i said 500 euros per month so another question that I get, this one is specifically students who ask this question is, you know, how easy it is to get part-time jobs as students. I'd have to give a balanced opinion and mention that it wouldn't be as easy for you to get a job here as a part-time student here as it would be in the other parts of Europe like Germany and all of that because you'd have to understand that it's a small country, right? And all the, there are not as many opportunities here as there will be in bigger countries but it's very possible to get part-time jobs here in lithuania as a student i know that um i know that there are usually like customer service jobs that you can work if you know how to speak english but i can tell you this that to increase your chances of getting a job it would be best that you learn the lithuanian language because when you learn the lithuanian language then you increase your chances of getting a job as a student so if you know that you are coming here or if you know that you want to stay here, you want to school here, I'll suggest that before you come, you start picking up the Lithuanian language. I can assure you, <laughs> I can assure you that it's not an easy language to learn. So the earlier you start, the better for you. <laughs> yeah, so 
Yeah, so so if you can, unfortunately, Lithuanian language is not Duolingo, so you can't use Duolingo, but you can use like can use Pimpslaw, you can use there are some other websites that you can use to learn Lithuanian, but I'd really suggest that you learn it to increase your chances of getting a job as a part-time student. So now another thing to mention when it comes to Lithuania is the weather. So I feel like you should prepare your mind about the Lithuania weather, especially if you're coming from somewhere in Africa where most of the time we have like the same weather, we have just two seasons and there are no, ex there are no extreme temperatures. So here is also colder than um, some other um, European countries. Um, I know that they say that during winter you can go as high as minus 25 degrees. Luckily for me, I have the, the winter that I experienced here wasn't so bad. I think the highest I probably experienced was minus 6. That felt like minus 10. But man, it was cold. <laughs> yeah, Lithuania is really cold. And I know that it's cold because I've had a few friends. So I've had a friend come from Netherlands. I've had a friend come from the UK. And they can also attest to the fact that the weather here is colder than they are used to. So you want to prepare your mind. If you're going to be resuming towards fall, winter-ish, I'll suggest that you come fully equipped with your winter accessories, your jackets, your um, your um, mufflers, your anything that's going to keep you warm. Come fully equipped with it. But also, the summer is also really nice. We're in summer now, and we get, we get like temperature as high as 28 degrees, and I hear that it's, it could possibly still go as high as 35 degrees as time goes on. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. So yeah, um, there are distinct weathers, four distinct weathers in Lithuania. Well, they used to be distinct. I can't say anymore because it snowed in May. <laughs> but yeah, it's not common um, in most cases. And usually there are four distinct weathers that can, that can be really cold and really hot. So would be good if you can prepare your mind for that. So another thing that I get, or when I talk, when I mention Lithuania, or when I'm trying to invite my friends to Lithuania to come and visit, and they're like, what's there in Lithuania? Lithuania, what can I possibly see in Lithuania? But I'm here to tell you that there are lots of tourist attractions in Lithuania. Maybe not, not what you are used to, but we have like really nice art museums. We have nice parks. We have, um, we have a beach town, which is Palanga. We have a couple of things. We have like really, 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 really awesome, amazing old buildings and cathedrals. I can assure you. So yes, um, if you're thinking tourist attractions, we even have like a small republic. Um, I don't know. Yeah, like a small republic in Vilnius town. Uh, a small independent republic in Vilnius town is called Ujjupis, if I'm correct. But yeah, my point is that there are so many things to see. I shouldn't feel like coming to Lithuania is going to be a waste of time. Oh yeah, and there's the hot air balloons. If you go to Vilnius, oh my god, they're like so beautiful. <laughs> they're like really beautiful. Like there are lots of hot air balloons in Lithuania that you can enjoy. So yeah, this is me trying to sell Lithuania to you and tell you to come. I mean, not every time go to the more popular country. Sometimes, you know, just decide, oh, I'm going to take a vacation to... Um, Lithuania because it's not common and I feel like that's where you find all the hidden gems that place that not a lot of people go to but I can show you that also like the the tourism industry in Lithuania is actually really booming there they have like I feel like the tourism industry in Lithuania is very very creative I've seen a couple of their ads and I can assure you that it's good so yeah what other reason do you need to come to Lithuania anyway if you are visiting or if you watch this video and you said to come to Lithuania, you're excited to visit. Always hit me up. You can reach out to me on Instagram. You can reach out to me via mail. And I would always, I'm always willing to, you know, like meet up people for tea, for coffee, when you're around. And I could show you around. I mean, my Lithuanian, my Lithuanian is not great, but I think that I can, you know, get us out of trouble <laughs> if we fall into one. So yeah, you should really, really consider putting Lithuania in your bucket list of countries to visit. So yeah. Another question that I get asked a lot, especially by black people, is the people, how is Lithuania? How are the people of Lithuania? Are they racist? Are they not racist? See, being black means finding out, you know, people's reception to black people before you travel. And it's normal. And I understand that. Um, I'll say that, I mean, I don't think that there is any non African country that you go to that you won't find racist people. 
it's what it is but i'll say that you know america <laughs> with everything happening right now we know that america and racism is like huge huge but you don't people it doesn't stop people from wanting to go to america if that makes sense now i'm not trying to justify anything i'm just trying to explain that yeah you're most likely going to see a couple racist people in lithuania um but in general i wouldn't say that i've had like um i've had like strong um racist experiences since i was living here of course like the truth is i've had like a couple people racially profile me if we are being honest that's what it is I, I don't think that you can escape that and it's what it is but i don't think that it should stop you like i said it's bound to happen anywhere you are but i think that because of the fact that lithuanians are generally uh i don't want to use the word cold but like the fact that lithuanians generally keep to themselves they're not going to come out at you they'll keep to themselves and they would rather you know not say anything so so yeah, good, good. So it's not like you're going to meet somebody on the street that will say oh yeah go back to your country or stuff like that i don't know but I, I may be wrong right so like if you've had experiences like that you can mention but like i've never had any experience that made me fear for my life or anything but it's what it is i think that you should be open to the fact that lithuanians can be cold <laughs> yeah especially if you don't know them so like if you if you know them if you work with them if you're schooling with them and you get to know them i think they sort of warm up to you because they're actually nice people but generally strangers are not going to be nice to you you're not going to see people happily try to show you the way if you're lost yeah i say happy not that they won't show you the way or but like they won't happily show you the way because you are not used to talking to strangers they are not very open people so just prepare your minds for that especially if you are if you're coming from a country where people are more open like if you're coming from Italy or if you're coming from Nigeria where you know like everybody is open just know that it's a little different here and just prepare your mind for it i think that i've covered like most of the questions that i get if I missed out on anything, you can, you know, just ask me in the comment section and I will answer to the best of my knowledge. For people who are thinking of studying here or looking for how to get admission, I'll just suggest that you do your research. I mean, I don't think that there is a lot of things to it. Do your research, apply to the schools that you want and you could get in. And yeah, if you qualify, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't get in. So yeah, that is it today um, about Lithuania and what to expect before living in Lithuania. This is from my perspective as a foreigner living in Lithuania and I hope that I've been able to tell you one or two things that you find helpful. So yeah, thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Um, please, 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 if you found this video helpful, please share with your friends, share your social media, please click the thumbs up button because if you found it helpful and you click the thumbs up button, it helps you recommend it to other people that could possibly find it helpful too. So please do not forget to do that and please, 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 please subscribe. I'm hoping that, you know, I will be serving you back to back content this week. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. And let's get us to 500 subscribers that would actually make me happy yeah so yeah uh this is it i will see you in my next video bye